welcome back to the Falling Like Ryan again as always. It's been a very long time since I've made a video. Um, also, I don't normally make videos or even go outside with my hair down, but like, I don't know. That's, that's, I guess that's a surprise. Anyway, I'm making this video and like, yes, the title is true because yes, I did get bored of studying languages. Not, not language in general, I just have to clarify that, just studying languages for, for a little bit. That's why I stopped making videos, because like there was nothing to really post, because I wasn't really like actively learning that much. I was passively learning, like I was still on YouTube, li watching a lot of like foreign vlogs and stuff, listening to, I've been listening to, to um, the radio in German a lot recently, but I've still been getting exposure, I just, I just haven't uh, been actively learning. So I remember the last language I was really studying intensively was Catalan, and then that was going pretty smoothly, I was going through one book, so it wasn't taking up that much time then I added the second book on and then it was just I don't know it's taking up a lot of time and I got stressed and I was like okay I'm gonna take a break from this for a while and then uh, it ended up lasting a lot longer than I thought it would but yeah I also like at the end of the break I decided that um I was like I was gonna just stop learning Catalan for the time being and I was gonna learn something else but then I couldn't decide on which language I wanted to learn so I spent this past little this past little while trying to decide on which one it's pretty much come down to uh, I either want to learn Turkish Russian or Japanese and also as I stated in the other videos I have to bring the languages I've studied in the past up to a higher level so I'd like to stay true to that but at the same time like that is what was getting boring like trying to bring up all the old languages and like I really don't want to overextend myself by learning too many new ones and and like I just don't have enough time for all of them but I find learning new languages and learning new words and stuff and new grammar structures more fun than doing review so I might end up doing that just until it starts to feel like, like fun again and then I'll go back to the old ones because like as I mentioned in the old video that that was my original goal to bring up my old languages but we have to see how that goes also if anybody's wondering these are not real tattoos they're just like those fake tattoos you can like get like happy meals and stuff so like that's what those are if anyone's wondering anyway so like that's the plan for now so i'm not really sure which language i'm going to choose i'm leaning more towards russian because that'll allow me to talk to like a really large demographic and then i can also use russian to branch into like the other slavic languages which is like the, the slavic language group is a group that i've wanted to go into for a really long time but i just i don't know it scares me the, the grammatical structures and then the the, the case systems like Russian has seven different cases and stuff and like I don't know it's 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 really difficult I wanted to do Japanese I've wanted to do Japanese for a long time but it's just the three alphabets and then like the different readings for the different kanji and all that stuff can take a long time so like I know they're not really that difficult but it just it just takes time and then time time is another thing that was like making me like get bored uh quicker it's just i don't know like for example it's catalan like i can pick up a book like the catalan book and then read it and then i can see that it won't take me a long time to improve because the, the grammar and just the way catalan works is really similar to like other languages that i speak so it seems fun because it's not like it's not like a difficult journey but then when i look at like russian and then it has like a different alphabet like i can already read cyrillic but it has a different alphabet and the grammar is completely different and everything and the pronunciation and all that it just it seems like it would be a difficult journey like it'd be fun obviously but it just wouldn't be as fun as learning catalan but like i'm down for new challenges now like it's 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 a new year i don't really believe in new year's resolutions i i kind of i think they're really stupid i feel like if you want to change something you should just change it in that moment i don't see what the point of waiting until the year changes is but yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to say i have to decide on which language to learn and yeah we're gonna have to see how this goes and, and where this goes anyway thank you for watching this video until the next one